So France with an early lead. Of course, both of these teams have also clinched spots in the FIBA Women's uh, Olympic Qualifying Tournament. And Marta Jargai goes down and drills the three-point. I mean, Miam has uh, been around a long time for France. And here's Jargai. She ran into Palau, who went to her head like she'd been hit. And then she shakes it off. And again, Marta Jargai, she says, hold the MVP ballots. Jargai, her third three-pointer! For the last two years playing in boards together. So as far as, same with the coaching staff. I mean, they know <laughs> they know each oh, other. Oh, what so a well. finish from Marta Jargai with the left hand. The man turns it over. Now Jargai in the middle of the court. And this time, Chartaro got a hand in the face. But as to indoor steps out and hits the three. And it's really a case of pick your poison. Back was towards Hartley, so she didn't even know how how strong of a step out by Laura Gill it was. Well, Ravinia missed, but then the rebound by Jarga. They have two consecutive turnovers. You have to know. Yeah. Especially Gill. Well, the dump. Beautiful bounce pass. Oh. And Pupa. Badian. Shot clock winding down. And Pupa steps to her left, gets blocked. Yeah, I feel this first two and a half minutes for France, they just came out with a different mentality, and I don't think they wanted to be embarrassed. Oh. Well, she's not going to be shut out. Here's Dominguez. Anna Cruz. Bounce pass. Oh, what a play. What a play. Jorgai just gets a minute. Oh, she knocks it in. And you know what? Bakelet is doing a great job following Jorgai off down screen. A foul automatically. Jorgai in it to Quirrell. Casas! Out of all the successful runs, look at this. Quirrell Casas all the way out. And, and it was close to a five second call. France just have to keep playing hard. Yeah. Gets again, gets into territory. Into the trees, they end up with a Jargai three, and that is just. Right there, I mean, this is with two seconds left. A decent defense by, by Alexia Shark.